going to have a good time, people. So, in studio with us, ladies and gentlemen, Pastor Brian Lubega. <laughs> Welcome to the show, sir. Oh, thank you, DJ Awo yes. and Julie. And we are wondering, what have you been up to? You have been silent. Um, I've been digging gold. And, and have you found it? <laughs> you soon know. <sighs> On this show or later on? Later on. Hash, <laughs> <my chance. laughs> what a what a response! I know. <laughs> what a response! Well, um, for the benefit of those who are listening, you know, I don't like to take it uh, for granted that there are people who tune into Christian Radio for the very first time every single day. Mm. Who is Brian Lubega? Um, Brian Lubega is um, a songwriter, an artist, a pastor, a husband. Um, a lover of people uh-huh. um someone who is so so passionate about social justice uh-huh. yes about seeing societies uh change uh-huh. yeah that's who i am wow how did you come about to be a musician not just one that is ordinary but one that has sort of shaken uganda um, yes you are the only brand Lubega. <laughs> there's For no real. photocopy there's no yeah. photocopy um or at least we haven't seen it um mm. i used to sing way back but what i am today it came out of having a burden mm. of seeing something in church something was being done but i failed that God laid a burden on my heart to do something to write songs in our own languages that would draw men to the heart of the Father mm. with clear doctrine uh-huh. and theology uh-huh. things that would carry to put the truth of God's word on people's lips so that's what basically drew me to do what I'm doing Wow. Amazing. And when did this start? Um, it started, I think, 2012. Hey. Yes. Wow. Yes. 2012. Why are you shocked? I was just thinking about my mind, what it was thinking as okay. people were busy <laughs> building serious things in life. Mm. Well, uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a minister of uh, mu- through music, uh, what would you say has been one thing that has set you firm and apart from the rest? What's that unique factor that you have that others do not have? Um, I would say one of the things is faithfulness. To your wife? To the call that God has called me to Mm. fulfill. Yes. I know there are many voices that come around, but I keep running the race. Okay. That is ahead of me. Okay. Another thing I would say is humility, not described as people described describe humility. But it's an internal thing. It is an internal thing. Yes. Um relying basically what i mean by that relying on god positioning your heart and not relying on your ability to deliver but relying on his ability to use you for his glory Amen. wow amazing well ladies and gentlemen we are in studio with Pastor Brian Lubega, Julie mm-hmm. and myself, we are, uh, you know, going to be catching up with him a little more and yes. getting to know more and about... tapping some anointing. Yeah, tapping some of that anointing. Mm-hmm. Getting to know more about, you know, the things that you probably do not know about this amazing this amazing uh, gift on this land and that you uh, need to... Today's artist turn up is the amazing man himself who is in studio with us. If you have just tuned in, I know there are people who normally like time four. Yeah, you know, missed the for first highway part. to five, six. You well, this, this time part. around we started a bit mm-hmm. earlier so you missed a bit of his yeah, introduction, a bit, a bit a of bit. the questions we asked. Yeah. But oh well, better left than never. You can just go type the hashtag award a bad guy on uh, YouTube you will find this interview yes not me who has posted it though exactly that's very (laughs) true that is so so true highly true yeah Mm. well so what inspired this song for Saturdays it's one of my favorites Mm. Vizo and I played this song on I, this show. I actually know that it's one of his favorites. Mm. Every time we play it, you see our getting things. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 
So, um, um, the inspiration behind that song was most Christians are, uh, are, are not, they don't boast in what, in, in Christ. Mm. So, what I wanted to bring out that the life we have in Christ uh-huh. is a life full of joy uh-huh. because in the presence of God there is fullness, fullness of, of joy. joy. Yes. So, I, I, I wanted to describe the, this kind of God that we have, that we serve, that we are proud of. Yeah, we are not just Christians who are who are who carry a, a burden, a, a burden, or who have this kind of tag Christians. Mm. But we have the life. It's the that lifestyle comes that we are living from Christ. Yes, it's not just having this box where you are sealed mm. to look like a Christian, but a life that you carry inside. That's what I basically wanted Amazing. to bring out. Which brings me to this question: mm. What's your creative process? How do you come up with this music? Um, um, there are many, many ways. Sometimes I write through singing, through listening to people worshiping. Sometimes when I'm praying, God inspires me. Sometimes I decide to write poetry. Mm, mm. I write poetry. And other times when I'm studying about maybe joy or the blood of Christ or so you are ordained a pastor. Mm. How have you learned um, to balance between your ministry as a pastor mm. and not to mix it up with your ministry as a musician, especially as the fact that you do worship, so I'm sure there's lots of clashing in those roles. Mm. Yes. Um, uh, one of the things that I have learned that uh, these things go hand in hand. Um, when uh, each of these giftings support one another. But also uh, one of the things that has helped me is to prioritize. Mm. Sometimes I have to say yes to some invitations. Other times I have to say no. no. Um, that has been one of the things that has helped me. And also I would say that I'm still learning a lot. Mm. It is not easy. Mm. There is one man I'm, 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 I'm asking how he does his thing. Mm. Pastor Bugembe. Yeah. <laughs> Pastor Willie. We should have Pastor Willie. I know. I, I don't yeah. know how he balances that, but <laughs> but I'm still learning. I'm still learning a lot. Wow. I'm still learning. Well, All right. 0705-966-966-0789-006-966. I want to talk about the fact that you are a song writer. Yeah. A very good one at that. <laughs> I must add so that I can bias people yeah. even before. But it's the truth. Yeah. Mm. So, um, as a songwriter, you write, you do write songs for other people as well. Yes. How do you decide who you're going to write f- for? And the fact that you are the one who's giving out something that is very dear and very precious to someone else. How do you how do you do that? Um, way back, um, I would say I made some mistakes because mm. <laughs> mm. I wrote songs to people who are just excited, mm. Mm. but who never knew that these were scarred things they were treasures which were meant to fill the body of Christ with life mm. and um, these days I've decided to kind of sit down with people who want me to write songs for them mm. and we talk if if they are not into the thing mm. sometimes I tell them we need some time kind of <laughs> put this on hold as we pray because mm. these are precious things and we are ministering to the body of Christ mm. that where Jesus Jesus died for this body and we cannot just play with scarred things mm. we need these things need to be entrusted to faithful stewards stewards amazing yes. that yeah. brings me to a question does yo do you ever allow anyone else to write for your music um i've allowed some people okay yeah 
I've allowed some people. I've allowed Brian Sevume. He's one of my 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 my. my it's called Jordan Injuva. Mm. He, he, he is one of my music directors. Um, Solomon Kwanga, and there are some young men that that I have allowed to to work with. Mm. Yeah, their contribution is quite amazing. Mm. Like wow. Kenneth, uh, Kenneth. There is also Nicholas Onapa. Those guys, they, they're amazing. Wow. Yeah. So who? For example, have we written for that we play here? I've written for Sandra Subi. Mm-hmm. I've written for Awesome. Mm-hmm. I've written for Brian. Duke. Brian. Dumba. Duke. 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 Duke Brian. Brian. Yeah. Duke. Wow. Yes. All right. We'll so. Easy way. Hey. Yep, that's what's up. Hey. <laughs> you seem shocked. Hey, Mary. Ah, are you for real? Yes, for real, for real, for real. Ah, for the first time, I know something that ah, I didn't know. Amazing. <laughs> okay, go and buy ice cream. Now, Sandra Sui, which in particular? See me. All right. Now, uh, Pastor Brian Rega is a songwriter, and a very amazing one at that. Uh, I have just been, like, shocked about the Duke Brian part. Yeah. But, uh... We're going to listen to Nsimie. When we come back, we're going to be catching up with Pastor Brian Lovega. We're going to talk about the state of the music industry in Uganda, gospel music industry. And also, uh, we are going to be able to, you know, uh, talk about if he knows uh, Wilbur Kasari. Yes. And if he doesn't... We shall show him who w- Wilbur Kasari is. Because Wilbur Kasari attributes his, most of his inspiration from you. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful the sounds of the one and only Pastor Brian Lewick. And over the song is Support. Support. I like this song because it really does magic for me at weddings. And before that, we did listen to Kobaita. And yes, it's 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 good music playing here for you on 96.6 Period FM Music for Life. We are having our artist turn up, and today's artist is pretty special. And yes. in case you have just tuned in, you can call us on 0705-966-966 and get to talk with Pastor Brian Lubega. Mm, amazing. We've uh, at least tapped into the spirit. The drive today is in a different style because it's first <laughs> October and we thought, you know, we would start the month in that kind of spiritual realm, some, mm, something yeah. that connects us to the throne of God. Mm. Yes. Let's talk marriage. I have, uh, I'm, me, I'm the bad guy, so I'm going to speak it the way it is. It's okay. So, uh, One, two, three, enter. Uh-huh. Mm. Are you ready? Ready. Well, first in your seatbelt, if you have your record, I record. Anyway, <laughs> you're a pastor, you are an artist, you are happily married to one wife and you have an amazing son sons hey. sons now yes oh, amazing oh, there's only one who is being posted anyway so uh how have you managed to stay how long have you been married four years how, how these days marriages last six months how long have you managed to no pun intended but you know what we are talking about, don't mm. you, Julie? How long have you man? How, how how have you managed to balance between work, ministry, music, music and, and marriage? Marriage. Um, Actually, let's just say family. Um, my first priority is family. If I fail to minister to my wife and children, mm. then I cannot be a bishop somewhere else. Uh. The world might celebrate, oh, we love your music. Mm. But my children and my wife will celebrate my private character, my doing. Your, the whole you. Yes, they don't only celebrate the gifting. Even they might not say, ah, our dad is a singer. Mm. But they celebrate um, who I am to them. Mm. They celebrate that character. They celebrate the time I spend, the money, the the things I give. Mm. Yeah. You know, he reminds me of um, Pastor Mark Mukisa, mm. formerly Chigozi. He, uh, at the World Room Conference, he said that if one man cannot manage one woman, how else can you minister to the rest of the world? <laughs> and you call yourself a Muslim. <laughs> Very true. Mm-hmm. Now, do you know Will Bakasari? Um, no. Really? 
<laughs> Do you want to know Will Bakasan? I want to know Will Bakasan. We are going to play this song for you and then you tell us because this guy actually does uh, say that you inspire him. Yes. Wow. Amazing. Some of listen to this one. It's Subira. When we come back, we'll be talking about the state of the gospel music industry with Pastor Brian Lewega. We'll be, uh, you know, getting into the gist of everything. This mm. is Will Bakasala. You know him. He's no stranger to the drive. Yep. But if you are very attentive during his interview, yes, already playing. was already playing by the yeah. time we asked him. He said that uh, you are his inspiration. Mm. So we're going to still play. We have Victory. I really want to listen to Victory. Yeah, I said we must yes, play Victory. Yes, we must play We have Victory, victory by Pastor Brian Novega. We have Wachitiwa. We have Gokubida. Sijakowa. Sijakowa. Mm. And of course, we have to talk about the state of the gospel music industry in your perspective. Yeah. Mm. So for now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to... Amazing sounds of uh, Wilbur Casale with Charlie Cupolani playing here on Artist Turn Up on the Rhythm Driven Drive with the War and Julie. And we are chilling with Pastor Brian Lovega. Now, tell us what you think. This man is. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Big up to you, uh, Wilbur. Uh, Thank you for doing the great work. The work is great. The, mm. word, the work is massive. The work is unforget- unforgettable. Hey. The work is incredible. Hey. The work is woo 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 woo. We're woo, back woo. from now on. We said woo woo, woo. you. We're back a sale. <laughs> woo 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 woo. Zero seven zero five nine six six nine six six. That is zero seven zero five nine six six nine six six or seven eight nine zero zero six nine six six. Musumba, what's your take on now where gospel music in Uganda has reached right now? Um, um. I see God is taking us to another level. Mm. Um, it's growing us, basically, not just in number, but in substance. Amazing. Yeah, mm-hmm. in substance. We are growing stronger. Um, we are growing in influence. And also, we are growing in our knowledge and fellowship with believers. Mm. Uh. Yeah. Uh, I'm seeing that is happening at the moment. Mm. And people have also started investing money to produce excellent work. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Wow. And what's your take on a few songs, you know, in terms of material content? Um, um, <laughs> 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 but as, as he's, he's putting himself together to answer that question, <laughs> the numbers you can call and talk or ask Pastor Brian Lovega any question you have. By the way, now is the time you call us on 0705-966-966. That is 0705-966-966 or 0789-006. Nine six six. Over to you, sir. Um, today I posted something very, very, very interesting, and what I posted was that a word-led worship leader will avoid singing songs that are high on energy scale but low on content scale. <laughs> um. It is possible for one to basically produce things that would lead emotions of people to a vacuum. But for us, we are called into that place of writing the truth. You know, when we say that this is gospel music, what makes gospel music is not the music. It's the word of God. Music itself is not the truth. It is the word of God that is true. So the truth, music is just comes after the content so um i believe we are growing in content Mm. Uh i believe we are growing and if you are not growing i'm passing the jacket tags spirit fm do talk to us yes spirit fm how are you we are fine thank you how are you this is james chambo yes james how is chambo doing this afternoon chambo is Fine, fair, fair. All right, what do you have to ask Pastor Brian Luega? Yeah, I'm so glad to speak to him. Pastor Brian. Yes, James. Praise God. Praise the Lord, Sibu. I remember I saw you last time when you came uh, to Salam, but it was a wonderful night. Anyway, I just want to thank you so much. Amen. Uh, for accepting a God 
God is calling. You know, it's not easy. Yeah. Uh, to balance all things. So much, thank you so much for uh, singing almost for last. You're welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Julie, bye. Bye. <laughs> Julie in particular. 0705-966-966. That is 0705-966-966. You want to ask or say anything, you could also just be calling to compliment uh, Pastor Brand Vega and thank him for the work he is doing uh, in the music ministry you call us on that number that is 0705-966-966 or 789-006-966 spirit fm talk to us hello pastor brian and Tudia. how hello. are you doing i'm okay what's your name and where are you calling from i'm kenneth in nansana kenneth in nansana yes talk I to us kenneth uh-huh it's not about the energy that i want them uh-huh no, our issues to continue, not, energy, not only energy, energy and content. Very true. Yeah. Very true. All right. Thank you. The numbers are 0705966966 or 7890069966. It's a war and Julie here on 96.6 FM Spirit. And we are chilling with Pastor Brian Lovega. Every single Tuesday we do something like this. We call it the artist. Turn up. And that's when we get to have an amazing artist come through. Today's is actually extraordinary because it's not from the scale of artists we normally pick from. Mm. It's uh, from uh, the scale above the artists we normally pick from. <laughs> Spirit <laughs> FM, hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? We are fine. How are you? Hello, Pastor Brian. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? I'm good. This is Sarah calling in from Chambabo. Yes. Uh, I would just love to thank you for your music. It's so inspiring. It has changed my life so, so much. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you so much and have a blessed evening. Likewise. Uh. All right, we're going to cross into the next hour, the, the hour NFL where hour. we, yes, mm. play your request. But, but hold up. Mm. Do you realize that that speaks volume about Chambogo? Yeah. Uh-huh. It speaks volumes. They are not having rictures. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am the bad guy. I, I love Chambogo <laughs> University. It's just, you know, I come from the generation which thinks like that about Chambogo. His name is Brian Lewega. We like to call him Pastor Brian Lewega. No, this one is not one of those black American music uh, things, but it's him doing this. This one is called Ooh. Victory. Now, I'm going to go straight to the question that <laughs> we have been wanting to ask. <sighs> yes. Where do you draw your inspiration? Wait, I know you draw it from God, but who inspires you? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yes. Who do you listen to? Yes. And <laughs> who do I listen to? Yeah. We all know, there's no doubt about it that the testimony in your songs is there's Christ mm. in it. Mm. That one is no doubt. That mm. one, we would be asking, would, how do they say, we'll be playing the answer. Yes, yeah. exactly. So, mm. but now we're asking the other question. Who well, Bakasari came here and said, Brian Lubega. When I listen to Pastor Brian Lubega, I'm inspired. Okay, I'm going to shock you. Yeah. The people that... When I listen to them, I, I, I get inspiration. Mm. Mm. Most of them are not artists. Mm-hmm. Okay. They're pastors. E.G. T.D. Jacks. Amazing. Bonyoma. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, there is Steve. Steve. Oh. Fatik. Oh, yeah. Steve Fatik. Ah. Nanti, you have to be sure you say um, Steve because um, Steve Harvey. Um, <laughs> um, um, the music that I listen, the people that write well, um, Bethel. Bethel music? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, this one also comes from Bethel. Uh, Lauren Digo. Lauren, Lauren Digo. Digo. Di- Lauren yes. Digo. Lauren Digo. Yes. Um, who else? Who else? Mm? Who else? Frankly, yes, I was waiting. <laughs> you know, this whole time I was asking myself, is he going to actually not say Kirk Franklin? Like, I was waiting, like, 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 yo, like, like, where would you like, leave Kirk Franklin? 
That name has suffered. Mm. <laughs> well, you can call us on 0705-966-966. That is 0705-966-966. We are powered by Airtel, the smartphone network. You can live a 4G life with my fast 4G smartphone from Airtel. Get yours today at only 200000 and get 5GB every month for three months. That's three whole months. Enjoy fantastic features on the phone like long battery life, face and lock feature, 8GB ROM, great people pictures from the rear and front cameras and of course so much more dial star 175 star 9 hash to enjoy free data that's the one that comes with the form that's the 5gb for three months and of course get your airtel 4g t- phone today that's uh, at your nearest airtel shop and because we are the smartphone network we sell we sell smartphones mm, of course yeah. only smartphones. only mm, no and our sim cards are smart too Yes, exactly. No pesa. So the numbers are 0705-966-966. That is 0705-966-966 or 0789-006966. Spirit FM, do talk to us. How are you? You're still saved? Yeah, I'm still. Very good, very good. <laughs> What's your name and where are you calling from? This is Eddie from Nansen. Eddie from Nansen. I talk to Pastor Brian. Pastor Brian Lubega. Yes, Eddie. The man who inspires me a lot. Wow. You know, you're among those people mm. <laughs> who really make me mm. be consistent in faith. Amen. And Lord, your Lord. songs really bless me a lot. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. I will yeah. appreciate you for that. Oh, thank you, Sebo. Yeah. Mm. Yes, please. I saw a Kuwakonga to the six stages I in Bakawa Chitiwa. My new agenda is Kakubana. It's actually Kanja. queued up. It's coming right up. Don't worry. Thank you. Kali. The numbers are 0705-966-966 or 0789-006. Nine six six picky picky po key spirit of hello. hello hi, hi. Oh. how are you hi Julie. i'm okay hi my Good. dear how are you i'm fine this is immaculate hey. immaculate mother of hey. dj jimmy the bad guy this is jimmy and omara they're here very fine but dj oh you 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 kill me how <laughs> how have i killed you, you set my house on fire i'm still looking for the water you you know the other time on friday when we call you, uh-huh. you say, at the end of the show you say that hey the mother of this kid has been box me i have to take them out those people were listening and they were like the whole weekend that inbox me I have to even relocate you from Uganda. I said, you don't stay in Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's a recorded program. <laughs> That's very yeah, interesting. Please, please do talk to Pastor Brian. But, but please, please, on a serious note, let's let's make oh. it happen. For sure, it has to happen. This kid, now every time they see playing, they keep telling me, wait for us, we are going to see DJ Awards. Oh, my God, I'm, <laughs> I'm killing myself. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I love I'm looking forward to meeting those amazing young no, it's people. Okay, no problem. Let yes. us talk to Brian Lubega. He's then right here. Hi, Brian Lubega. Hello. Uh, how are you? I'm doing great, Nyabo. I'm so happy, actually. It's not the first time meeting you. I'm always at your show. There's a time you hold a show in Google of Isaiah, Silver I, Spring. I, I, yes. I saw it. I was so, so happy. I don't know Luganda, but every time I listen to your song, I, I feel myself connecting and wow. shaking my head. I was like, oh God, <laughs> this Gl- is how the music is, eh? Glory to God. So, amen. amen. So thank you so much for the good work, for the hard work, and for everything you're doing. Thank you Thank so you much. for the support. I'm so amazed May that God you, you came you to the and, concert. Hey, I'm so happy you have also another new family member. I saw only the other boy. Yeah. I know. Yes. I know. You we were all shocked. The <laughs> <laughs> There's a new one called Ndiwe. Songs. Songs. <laughs> if yeah. I had a girl, would have been my daughter in the <laughs> No, but now I don't have a girl. So. Immaculate. <laughs> yes. What is going on? <laughs> Everything is going on well. Eh? Oh, yeah. So which song can we play for you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, you first greet this young DJ, they will request by them, so we are. Oh. Hello? Hi. 
How are you? I'm fine. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, I'm, my name is Omara. I'm calling from Mukono. You're calling from Mukono. <laughs> How old are you, Omara? I'm fine. How old are you? Six. You're six Amazing. years. Wow. What can we play for you, Omara? Play for me, according Baba. Yeah. Okay. We're going yeah. to play that one for you. Okay. All right. Let's talk to Jimmy. Hello? Hi, Jimmy, <laughs> the Hi. bad guy. Hello? How are you? I'm fine. Hey, what song can we play for you, Jimmy? I'm taking us out. Sorry? When, are we take, when am I taking you out? <laughs> <laughs> you tell mommy to look for me, I will take you out. <laughs> you tell mommy to call me to look for me, I will take you out. <laughs> All right. Okay. I love you. I oh. love you. Thank you so much, Jimmy. I say that I want I want a song. You are him. Which one? I want what can be you. I didn't hear that. <laughs> Mommy, do you want to help me? What song was that one? What can be you? Jesus. Hey. Oh, Adam. Hey. Ah, we're going to play that one for you. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Bye. All right. Aww. <laughs> Amazing. Kids, kids are so adorable. Sunday school number. <laughs> we are still here with Pastor Brandy Vega. Of course, we have to play Wachi mm. Tibwa. Of course, we have not. This show will not Sijakoa. be a show. Wait. Mm. It's even in Yanjara. Yes, very true. I know there are people who will skin me if we don't play those songs. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's. 96.6 period of fair music for life a war and julie here on the rhythm driven drive we are hanging out with pastor brian lubega and this one in the background is one of those very uh, popular worship songs sung in very many different churches mm. uh, a song that i have seen you know being ministered and uh, you know ministries sing it at different crusades church services even you know the weirdest of people like Jaja God likes this song. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> yeah, How so. is Jaja God? Jaja God. Okay, so update. Jean Marie gave us a recording deal, people. Thank oh, you very much. Amazing, yes. Pastor Brian. You need to see Jaja God. Jaja God is a guy in my neighborhood. He can get drunk and wasted. But the funniest thing is, in his state of drunkenness. Mm. He genuinely praises God. <laughs> he writes gospel songs. Oh. Amazing. What? He does. When he is drunk, these are times he might not be like, and whenever he is at that point, oh. he will even intercede. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, yo, what alcohol is he taking? Maybe it is the spirit in the alcohol. The Holy Spirit is in the alcohol. Because <laughs> yo... <laughs> so the other day he approached me I'll show you the video and he said he wanted to sing for me mm. so he sang for me a gospel song he has composed so mm. uh, John Mary has told us she, I'm good going, news for Jaja God let's go and record the song and we sing <laughs> Jaja God <laughs> anyway yeah. Pastor Brian just as a pastor I'd love you to like speak a word of encouragement to uh, anyone who's listening uh, to the to the to the show uh, everyone who looks up to you people who want to join the music ministry people who want to get into a place of influence in their different spheres of life and you know just from your own heart mm. what are those principles that have kept you sober and sane in spite of it all because I'm sure there's lots of drama and the things that you have God has enabled you to overcome. What mm. are what's what's what are those foundational truths mm. that are never changing for you and have kept you? Mm. Um, I just want to say just one one line. Um, we did not make ourselves. We are made by God to be fishers of men. Mm. If God entrusts us with men. Mm. If our gifts make room for us, uh, we don't need to abuse that room. Uh, that room is, is for God's glory. Uh, and let's keep leading as we follow Jesus. Uh, let's keep leading as we follow Jesus. Uh, I, 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 and I want to encourage my fellow artists, um, keep going. Uh -huh. Keep going. 
keep growing keep going keep growing yes mm, wow yeah well thank you so much for coming thank you so much for sparing your afternoon and spending it with us Amen. Uh, we are super 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 humbled that you would do that and i'm gonna break a rule or two or should i but ladies and gentlemen uh sending us off from the artist stand up is uh nyanjala by pastor brian Lubega. by pastor brian Lubega. i would love to know what inspired this song first before we play it um i was going through something mm. and in the middle of going through that um um i happened to read david's story mm. a man who had uh, who had god's heart mm. but also a man who was anointed can you imagine as someone who was anointed going through difficulties uh -huh. someone who had victories but after some time the people that he fought for were against him so nyanjala comes from that place where you are anointed and everything around you doesn't look as though you are anointed you again have to look up to god mm. to define you not what men say so that's the place where Nyanjala comes from. You basically lay bare your heart before God. Yeah. Oh, Nyanjala um timago. Yes. Amazing. Now let those words sink in. As they sink in, we'll be right back playing Nyanjala by Pastor Brandon Vega. Thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate that Thank you spent you for time. Me. It's really an honor. Thank Amen. you so much, sir. Kali. Thank you.